All right, we've got a great looking app. We can pinch to zoom. That's brilliant. But what if I really like this photo and I'm trying to get with uh, this girl that I know and I think it's going to help my case if I can send her this photo. At the moment, we can't do that. So let's put it in. Let's go on over to Xcode. Inside our main.storyboard, the first thing we need is a share button. So underneath objects, I'm just going to search for button and I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to put it near enough the side here. I'm just going to add my missing constraints and I'm going to call this button something obvious under the attributes inspector like share. Then I need to connect this to my view controller. So open up my uh, assistant editor, control click the share button and then I'm just going to drag it over here under view controller and I will call this share button. I'm going to give this an action. So whenever someone clicks it, it will fire this. Let's close that and head on over to our view controller. And oh, I've just popped it in the wrong place there. So I'm going to do command Z to undo that. I'm going to come back to the main storyboard and I'm going to try that again. So always make sure it goes in the class section underneath class here. There we go. And again, let's give it an action, share button, and we'll call it click. Let's open up the view controller dot swift. And there we have it right at the top here. Normally you would put these kind of things at the bottom, but as this is quick, we can put it here. So we need some code in here that allows us to share this image. So let objects to share equal to, and this is going to be an array of stuff that we're going to share. So two square brackets. And first we need a message inside quotes. Let's say, wow, amazing image. And then put a comma and we're just going to pass over the image that is currently assigned to image view. So image view dot image. Right, once we have our objects to share, we need a way to share them. So we have to create a view controller for that. Let's say let activity VC is equal to UI activity view controller. And then it asks us for some items. So our activity items are the objects to share that we just created and the application activities, we will just have nil for that. Okay, and then we have to present it. So we say self dot present view controller. It's that bottom one. And it asks us for a view controller, which is the one we just created, activity VC. We will make it animated and on completion, we will have nothing happens, so just nil. And here we have our first error. We have this little red thing here. Type of, type of expression is ambiguous without more context. So let's explicitly state it, semicolon after objects to share, and this is going to be an array of any object. And then under image view dot image, we need to put an exclamation to unwrap it to actually get our image. So let's run that on our iPhone 6 and hopefully we'll be able to share some stuff. Let's pick an image, drop it in and hit share. And oh no, we have a problem. Now this is going to happen all the time in your development career. And it doesn't mean you're a bad developer. It just means you need to spend more time on fixing these bugs. Now down here in the bottom window, it gives us a bunch of really complicated clues. But if you look right at the top, it tells us something about the share button. There's an unrecognized selector. Well, let's head on over to our main.storyboard, click the share button, and over on the right at the top, let's go to the connections inspector, and we have touch up inside, and we have two instances of that. 
Now, if you remember, we created one and then deleted it because I made a mistake. But one of them doesn't exist anymore because we just simply deleted it, but we didn't remove the reference here. So I'm just going to click X on that button and then I'm going to hit play again. And hopefully we'll be able to share an image now. So let's pick one and hit share. And there we have it. We can share it by mail, more, we can save the image, assign to contact, etc., etc. On a real device, you will have Twitter, Facebook, messaging, and all of the various things that you can do.